Hey, today I thought I would do a little comparison of, um, you know, these aren't the most popular, but they're interesting pins. They are very similar in many ways, yet unique in many ways. And so we're going to be looking at the Schaefer 100 and the Hongdeon 1861 Black Forest Pro. All right. What, like I said, these are very similar. They're, they're the price for each of these pins, uh, at least as I purchased them, each of them was $14. And of course, uh, you can see the prices uh, right around that, that range. Um, they're, the makeup of the body is, it's all metal. And then you see the, uh, the cap, on the one this is a little brighter now this uh, the Schaefer 100 does come in some other colors but uh, and you can get this 1861 in some other colors as well but um, yeah so they're you know it's all metal construction this has the brushed chrome on the on the cap and a chrome clip and then this has the lacquered uh, metal body and a rocker clip oops this has got the rocker clip, and this one has a uh, stapled clip. Uh, the clip on the Schaefer 100 is very, it's pretty tight, so you're going to have to use some good uh, assist there. The one on the Hongdian is uh, very easy to use. It's not real light. It's got good tension, but it's easy to get over a pocket without um, any assist, really. Uh, but it'll hold it. It's strong enough to hold it in there. The bodies of the pin are, this is a rubberized, anyway, if you can see the texture, the rubberized texture on that, it's kind of nice. Uh, on the Schaefer 100, this is a, white lacquered now this is a nice it's a nice lacquer though it's not just it, it must be thicker than normal but um yeah it's got some good grip to it so even with the uh, metal or the polished chrome grip section it still is uh you know it's kind of kind of slippery deal breaker for some but anyway uh when you got your thumb right here it holds it in place and you know, so yeah, I, I like that uh, lacquer on there. The Hongdian also has a metal grip and uh, it's, you know, it's polished, it's lacquered, so it's not super uh, slippery. I don't know, it may be just a tad less slippery than the metal, but do you have that rubberized body there that your uh, thumb or finger would rest on and of course this part of your hand as well to give you some grip there. Um, they both post and they post securely. However, now this, this is a friction fit on the Schaefer 100. On the 1861, this is a snap cap. And so it's, uh, <laughs> zoom out there, it's really long. It is because it's sticking out so far, it does tend to be back weighted, um, unless you choke up or choke back, I should say. If you like to hold your pin back a little bit, then you're, you're not gonna have a problem. But uh, yeah, it's, it's back weighted. The Schaefer, the Schaefer is not back weighted at, really at all, and the cap is lighter, so I'll go over the, the weights here in a minute but the cap is lighter, so, and it posts down further. So uh, it's, it's a little more comfortable in the, in the hand. They both have what I would call number five nibs. The Schaefer is a little bit wider at the base, but the overall length and size of the nib, I, I don't know, I would call that a, a number five, but um, just because of the it there just because the uh, distance from the 
end of the grip to the nib tip. So they're basically act as a number five. They are both cartridge and converter pins. The Hongdian has a proprietary cartridge and converter. I tried the uh, standard international and it would not fit. And so maybe some might, but anyway. And then uh, as well, the Schaefer also has its own proprietary cartridge. And so there's your, uh, your converters and such. All right, as far as, again, they're, they're, the links uh, or the dimensions, I should say, are very, very, very similar. You know, capped. They are both 138 millimeters. The uh, length uncapped is pretty close. I think, let's see, the, the 1861 is like two millimeters, uh, two millimeters more. It's just, uh, it's unnoticeable. Uh, posted, however, as uh, you saw earlier, it is a, there's a, there's a big difference. Oops. <laughs> Get that together there. All right, there's a big difference posted. So uh, body girth, they're both 11 millimeters at the, at the widest point there. The grip, grip length is, they are both 23 millimeters. The girth on the grips at the middle portion is uh, slightly different. The, Sch the Schaefer 100 is 9.5 millimeter, whereas the Hongdian 1861 is nine, so just a half millimeter more. This grip section on the Schaefer 100 is pretty consistent, uh, the length of it, whereas this, the 1861 tapers down. Okay, so the weight on these, the 1861 is, the total weight is 34.5 grams, and then the overall weight of the Schaefer 100 is 30 grams. And then the body, <clears throat> the body weight is also different. The uh, Hondion is 21 grams. The Schaefer is 20 grams. So not much, you know, one gram. What difference is that going to make? But the, the it's the uh, the weight difference mainly is in the caps. This is just a. Uh, Polished chrome. I don't know if it's a uh, like brass in there or just aluminum. It's probably aluminum. It's pretty light. And then this is brass uh, with a lacquer uh, lacquer coating. The clip is heavier than this. This is a pretty lightweight clip. So there's there's your difference there. So obviously posted. You not only have more weight on the cap but it extends out so there's going to be uh, your difference your difference there all right so let's do a writing sample of these two pins so let's do this uh, writing sample and just doing these dip pins here so let me mark my edge of the paper all right, so I know where I'm at here. <laughs> All right, so we have the Hongdian. I'm just going to put 1861. It's the Black Forest uh, Pro. And then the ink I'm using is Diamine uh, Denim. Not sure if I spelled that. I think I spelled it right. This, uh, by the way, <clears throat> excuse me, is a medium nib and very smooth writer. No hard starts, no skips. 
plenty wet. Line variation. You can get a little bit, not much. Reverse writing. There's some feedback, almost scratchy, but still, it does does a good job with it. All right. What? All right, now we'll take a look at the Schaefer. Schaefer 100. And let me mark the edge here. See if I can spell this right. And this too is a medium nib. This medium is slightly, this medium is, is noticeably uh, a little bit thinner, or a little bit, uh, yeah, thinner, uh, finer, I should say, than the, this medium is noticeably finer than the Hongdian nib but um, it's still still decent decent writing nib again diamine denim no hard starts no skips so wetness yeah pretty wet not as wet as the other As far as line variation, yeah, nothing really to write home about reverse writing. And it too does a, does a pretty good job. Just a little bit of feedback, but not, not too bad. Alrighty, so I will give, uh, let's go on to the final thoughts, but both of these, I think the, the, Hong, the 1861, I think because of the flow is a little bit more, uh, it's, it's a smoother, uh, slightly smoother nib, but not, I mean this, the, the Schaefer 100 is still, you know, it's, it's still a nice nib to write with, but again, uh, not quite as smooth as the 1861, but uh, no, uh, no qualms. Okay, so I shall be back with some uh, closing thoughts. All right, you have two pins here that are about the same price, around $14. They're both nice riders. Their weight their dimensions are really similar, uh, almost exact in some some cases. Both of them are nice, nice writers in the hand. Um, you know, I, again, I love the lacquer finish on this Schaefer, uh, but I also like this uh, rubber rubberized uh, body here. I'm just kind of curious, uh, with a lot of use, how long that's going to last. But um, yeah, they're both they're both really nice pens, and so you know, depending on on your market, whether uh, you know if these are widely available and whatnot. But uh, yeah, so either one, or you can get both of them in your collection, as I have, and uh, just to give you some give you some variety. All right, there you have a comparison of a Chinese inexpensive fountain pen and a what used to be an American, and then I'm not sure if it went, Schaefer went to France, uh, but now it's in India. So <laughs> take your pick. Anyway, there they are. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, check out these two uh, videos. 
uh, reviews that I did on each one of these pens. All right, have a great day.